Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and it will be a tutorial for Leaning Animator. We will use it on Invector Basic Locomotion Free Package. So animation of this character controller will become like this. Another example for comparison. So full body leaning and some leaning for spine bones. With this character movement we will not get the full potential of the leaning animator because this character movement is not translating object in direction of its actual rotation but it's not so big deal so it will look much better anyway. We will also set up slope alignment so instead of moving like this character will move like that. So alignment with uneven platform plus some spine bones compensation to it. Ok, let's start the tutorial. First let's add leaning animator to the third person controller object. Plugins animating, leaning animator and let's drag and drop. And let's already hit play. And when we move you see that there is something wrong with a spine bones animation. And that's because this model don't need calibration. Calibration helps to fix some issues when some keyframes of the animation aren't animated, but for this model it should be just disabled. And now when we move you see this stuttering. And that's happening because this animator have update mode set to animate physics. And we have to do the same in a leaning animator. Let's enable animate physics. And now it works better. But you see this leaning is a bit too much and we will adjust it in a while but first let's focus on the setup now let's adjust the reference movement speed of the character movement object speed when breaking and running is very important to leaning animator thanks to them the leaning animation is done accordingly to the movement of the character controller so when we move you can see that current speed here displays actual speed of a game object and it's 3.97 so let's make the speed when running somewhere about that and the speed when braking let's make 4 it don't need to be too much precise and when you set these parameters correctly you don't need to go back to them later the settings below, like acceleration detection, is for automatic detection if intention of the character controller movement is to move or to brake. Like when we move, it you see here accelerating true or false, and it's detected automatically by the rigid body velocity. But to get best results, you should use custom detection and use some simple code to deliver these informations for the leaning animator to handle everything as precise as it can. And there we have also option to auto detect ground. There you can also use transform based acceleration detection if your character controller don't have any rigid body. Alright, so let's copy the settings and paste now. So we have everything set up like in play mode. Uh, there you see field for foot's origin and foot's origin is transform which will rotate whole model like that or like that and in most cases character models have root bone placed exactly like that so there is armature transform which we can drag and drop here but if you left this value, this field empty, then Linux Animator will try to generate the transform automatically. Like you see generated foot's origin, and it's here. But it's generated by guessing. So with some models it cannot work. And I just prefer setting it up manually. And if you not assign spine bones, then component will use only root leaning. But we will use it in this tutorial, so let's get everything back. Neck bone is used for compensation when rotating bones, you will see it later. 
and also you can assign arm bones they are optional but we will assign them and so left upper arm it's not shoulder it's left arm and right arm on. now the main setup is done we don't need to go back here later now let's go to animation settings i recommend checking tooltips on the parameters here we have sections for each feature of the leaning animator spine sway which means the leaning of whole model spine sway which means rotating the bones of the spine uh, arm sway to add some additional motion for the arms and there below we have some additional options one for neck and one for main push and the top tab have effect on every of these sections below so when we change side sway power like lower then put origin sway to the sides will be milder as well as lean to the sides by spine bones now let's enter play mode so we can adjust these parameters and you see that the leaning to sides is much too high so let's change it a bit lower but we don't see it much on the spine bones so let's mainly change this swaying for the root sway to lower value like that yeah now it's much better and to analyze how root sway parameters are affecting the whole model you can disable animator disable swing for arms and spine and now when you move you see how the motion is performed on the model and you see that the break animation is kind of sudden so we can change rapidity of breaking to be lower and to check how these parameters are affecting the model you can go like to the max with forward sway and you see the effect much clearer what's going on here so I guess this forward sway might be a bit lower side sway is alright we can also adjust strafe sway so let's check it and it's like that also this braking can be can look different when changing the object speed when braking for you like yeah, you see it's executed later but when set to one it's a bit longer yeah i think it will be better but anyway let's change it a bit lower all right let's enable again animator and now let's disable the root sway but let's enable the spine sway so we focus on the spine bones and you see this effect by itself which here is a bit too big let's adjust it if you want to prevent the spine bones rotate too much you can clamp it with clamp spine sway parameter when spine rapidity is set at lower then spine bones rotation animation is just slower and lower you have xyz rotation angles which are driving the spine bones leaning rotation when accelerating or decelerating or rotating and swaying to sides spine side lean is rotating spine in the same way like spine forward sway but only when running and rotating in the most cases you will set this spine right sway values pretty low well depends on game you are making maybe it's more cartoonish then higher values might give some nice results here it's just simple detail and when combined with all other features it gives nicer results you can experiment with the other parameters set them up to high or to low to check what it's actually doing and then blend it accordingly to your needs and again i recommend checking tooltips on the parameters all right and now let's focus on the 
slopes to enable ground alignment let's go to advanced settings here and now when we stand on some uneven platform we can adjust the rotation of the character on it like that and if the rotation is to 7 we can lower the rapidity now it's more subtle like that and we can like enable this feature only when character is moving so when he stops then like that but when we enable it to align also when idling we can use the spine ground alignment which compensates the spine bones rotation accordingly to the slope on which character is standing and you can see right now it gives nice feeling to the whole motion and it's pretty simple to set up so without and with and yeah that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching i hope you liked it if you have some questions feel free to ask in the comments below subscribe for more hit bell for notifications about new videos thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye